for keeping me around. I really owe it to you. No worries, Pickle Boy. It was an easy decision from me. I don't know if it was the same for Alan, but at least you're still here. Well, I'm glad that I survived last night because I know I was really close to going home. I'm very lucky to still be in this game right now because last night I almost got sent home and it was crazy, but I'm really happy to still be here. Alan is my number one target right now. When I have the opportunity, I'm taking my shot at him. I don't give a damn. So, Alan, how are you feeling about Gwen being gone? I mean... It's tough, because I want Pickle Boy out, but the game goes how the game goes, so uh, fortunately Gwen's gone, and we are going to get rid of Pickle Boy next. Exactly. I'm playing both sides between Alan and Pickle Boy. I know they're gunning for each other. It's sort of relaxing for Brian and I who don't have to worry right now. And I know Brian is on Pickle Boy's side so I could join Alan and tie the vote or easily just send Alan home if we lose again. I don't know what's right. Christmas, how is it that you've gotten so famous? I've written books before about my bedless life and I was on Big Brother in 2017. Oh, okay. Because I remember you from there. Most of you guys remember me from Big Brother 19 in 2017. But I'm more than a player from that show. I'm a better swimmer. I work my ass off every day. And I've inspired lots of people in the process because of my book. I can say that I am proud of myself because I am. It's great when you feel great. Joe, it's crazy to think that we're still here. Honestly, it's an accomplishment that we're still in this game. Because we could have been voted out a long time ago. We won challenges, we've done what we've had to do, and we're still fighting in this game. It feels great to still be here right now. I'm almost halfway through the game and the game is only going to get harder from here. So I'm on my toes, because who knows what could happen. Yoga is helping me keep calm in this game. It helps me focus and look at things that I really couldn't if I weren't doing it. I can see the light right now. There's 14 of us left. We're getting down to the wire. Sooner than later we'll be merging. So I'm always prepared. So I'm proud to still be here but there's a lot of game left. How are you feeling today, Devin? I'm doing great, man. Still blessed to be here. I can't believe it, there's only 14 of us left. My game right now is going well. I feel I'm in a solid alliance, and I survived the last vote off. So I feel great. I'm not going to say I feel great, because usually that means something's going to... I could be getting talked about, and then something's gonna happen where I'm in trouble. But I'm gonna keep fighting until I win those million dollars. Today is the pre-merge. The 14 contestants will be divided into two tribes of seven. The tribes will be Levu and Yawa. Soko is no more. The pre-merge Levu tribe includes Mike, Brian, Ashley, Ben, Ellen, Rourke and Devin. On the pre-merge Yawa tribe we have Michelle, Ryan, Cole, Joe, Christmas, Veronica and Pickle Boy. Mr. Ben, how have you been, man? I'm doing good, sir. It's good to see you again. I'm ecstatic. The pre-merge saved my game today. Because if I were still on Yawa and we had to go back to Tribal Council, I had a pretty good feeling I would have been going home. Because I was the only one that was fighting for Pickle Boy to leave. But what's even better is that now it's the pre-merge. It's game time, and I'm out back at Levu with my old alliance, which is Ben and Ashley. A lot did happen at the hero camp while you were on the other on the hustler camp. Um, well, first of all, we had to go to tribal once. We got rid of Simone. That was an easy vote. But I'm close with Devin. I want you to talk to him because he's a really good guy. Yeah, and also Ryan on the other tribe, he talked to me a lot about Devin. So I will 100% do that. Ben told me to talk to Devin. And I was already going to do that because I want to get a read of him. But after hearing that he's a good guy, I mean, it makes me feel com more comfortable that Ben's working with him. So I know we haven't really talked yet. 
But how are you feeling in this game right now? I'm feeling great right now. I've heard you're a good guy. Ben told me the same about you, man. Alan immediately approaches me and wants to work with me. I know he's close with Ben and Ashley who I'm also close with so I guess I'll have to put up with him for now. But I really need to get to know the guy before I decide if I want to work with him or not. Welcome to Yawa guys, or welcome back. If we look at tribal lines at this new Yawa tribe, there are four Soko members, Veronica, Joe, Cole, and Christmas, one Levu member, Michelle, and then two former Yawa members and Ryan and myself. So Ryan and I are easily on the bottom. And considering of who's on the tribe with me, it's clear I'm the lowest of the low. Because Ryan knows a few people on this tribe where I only know one other person who I'm not close with. Christmas, we have full control. Isn't this good? Oh, this is great. As long as you, me, Cole, and Veronica stay together and then we pull in Michelle. We get rid of either Pickleboy or Ryan if we lose. I mean, who do you think has more relationships going into the merge, Pickleboy or Ryan? Honestly, I only know Pickleboy from the early days and when I knew him he wasn't close with anyone really. So I would get rid of Ryan. I mean, I've always gotten a vibe about Ryan that he's like really smart. So I am going to keep watch of it. But the thing is, do you really think Veronica and Michelle would vote with us? Good point, because we're on the tribe with the majority of hustlers, so, like, that is a worry as well. There is something that worries me about Veronica and Michelle, because I notice that they are close, and duos in this game are not good. We've already split up Veronica once with Desi, and I don't want to have to do it to her again, but I am worried that she may be closer with Michelle than she was with Desi. But the thing is... There are also other options on this tribe. We have two Yawa members who are clearly on the bottom. And right now, those two are our main priority to get out. So we really should use Veronica and Michelle right now to help us get them out. Get the Yawa guy. And to be honest, there's something about Ryan I really don't trust. So right now, he's my number one person I want to get out on this tribe. He seems really smart. Welcome, Levu, to your next immunity challenge. Welcome, Yahoo, to your next immunity challenge. Congratulations, Yawa. You guys were the first tribe to finish. No tribal council for you guys. Good night, Levu tribal council for you guys tonight where one of the seven of you will be voted out. See you at tribal. I like this four right here. Yeah, this is the four I had in mind. Who are we voting tonight? In my opinion, we need to keep Ryan. Because he's a number for us in a merge. So it's either Mike or Rourke tonight. To be honest, I think Mike seems like a guy that, that could be lo long-term problems for us. More than Rourke. I do know that while I was on Yawa, that Ben, Ashley, and Devin formed a three-person alliance. And I feel good to be that fourth member, and it's keeping me in the game tonight. But I don't know how far it's going to take me. But I need to lay low and just vote with them tonight. If myself, Ashley, Ben, and Devin are working together, that leaves three options. Being Brian, Mike, and Roar. One of those three is going home tonight. As much as I know Brian is close with Pickle Boy, who I don't trust on the other tribe, I need to keep him in tonight because he's a number for the heroes. And once we get to the merge, we need to have those, that, those numbers. So it's either going to be Rourke or Mike tonight. I noticed that the four are chatting a long time. Have you seen them at all? I really have not seen them either, but all I know is those four might be a strong four, and that is dangerous going into a merge or anything else. We could be merging tomorrow, so we should split the four up now. Who do you guys trust the least out of Ashley, Ben, Devin, and Alan? Personally, I don't trust Alan at all. To be honest, Alan is the most dangerous going into the merge. If us three and Devin can manage to get rid of Alan, it would be 
Amazing. I'll talk to Devin. We need him to get Alan out. I'm concerned about Ben, Alan, and Ashley. They're a lot tighter than you think. They are close. And they're going to flip on you whenever they have the chance. Those three have been tight since day one. Holy crap. Rourke brings up a good point. Alan, Ashley and Ben have been tight since day one and when it's merge time I could see them joining up with other heroes. Who are you voting for tonight? Alan. He's physically and mentally smart. Alan is a threat in my opinion. He's smart and knows this game. Do I flip tonight's vote and get rid of Alan or play it safe and vote off Mike or Rourke? But I know if I were to vote off Alan I would lose Ashley and Ben's trust which is something I don't want to lose right now. So I'm not sure what's right. It's time to vote. I'll go get the votes. If anyone has an idol and would like to use it now is the time to do so. Okay once the votes are in the decision is final the person voted out will be asked to leave immediately. I'll read the votes. First vote Rourke, Ellen, Rourke, Ellen, Rourke, Ellen. Eighth person voted out. Rourke, Rourke. The tribe has spoken. Grab your torches head back to camp. Good night.